What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Nobby Podcast. I'm your host, Sonny Nobby, and uh, we are back with another sports video update. Um, although I am pretty damn late here, which I apologize for, but the, as the old saying goes, better late than never, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, it was reported that we now have the winner of the NBA 2020-21 season Rookie of the Year, and the award goes to... Charlotte Hornets 19-year-old point guard LaMelo Ball. Uh, as you know, he is the younger brother of New Orleans Pelicans uh, point guard Lonzo Ball. LaMelo was drafted by the Hornets in uh, this last season's draft with the third pick. Uh, in the young man's rookie season, he played in uh, 51 out of the 70, uh, 72 games, where he started in 31 of them, and ended the season with an average of 15.7 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 6.1 assists per game. LaMelo apparently received 84 first place votes and earned 465 total points from a uh, global panel of 99 sports reporters and uh, writers. In the second place was uh, Minnesota Timberwolves guard Anthony Edwards, no surprise there, who received um, the other 15 first place votes and 309 points. In third place came Sacramento Kings point guard Tyrese Halliburton, who uh, finished with 114 points. And um, for people who don't know, including myself, I had no idea how this worked before I uh, took these notes. But the way the points work is that the players get awarded five points for each first place vote that they get, uh, three points for each second place vote that they get, and one point for each uh, third place vote that they get. And also before we go forward, the reason I'm wearing these uh, (laughs) glasses on video right now is if you saw LaMelo's um, induction, not induction, I don't know, his... uh, his award speech, his acceptance speech, I guess. Uh, he was rocking some glasses exactly like this almost. But um, yeah, so just for the content, sake of content. <laughs> but anyways, um, after having a slow start to the season and having a couple of bad games for me in fantasy basketball, LaMelo picked it up tremendously and rapidly. Um, it was just about the time when I dropped him from my fantasy team that he actually started really, really killing it. But I'll cry about that another time. <laughs> Throughout the year, LaMelo was showing how ready he was, though, for the big stage of the, uh, you know, the number one basketball league in the world. Uh, putting up 20-point games, uh, a 34-point season high and obviously career high, uh, and just his third start. A uh, few double-doubles here and there, and was even the youngest player to ever get a triple-double in NBA history. You know what I mean? All of that speaks for itself. There's a few other Hornets rookie uh, record book stats that are now linked to LaMelo and the Hornets, which is um, that he finished with the second most assists uh, as a Hornets rookie with uh, 313 assists and third most three-pointers made as a rookie uh, with 92. LaMelo missed 21 games near the end of the season due to a broken wrist, and uh, it was originally said that he could have been out for the remainder of the season. I think it was reported that he was out, uh, that he was going to be out for the remainder of the season, and um, that could have easily affected his uh, lead with Rookie of the Year because at that point he was definitely in the lead for Rookie of the Year by a landslide. All just to be back a few weeks later and just to pick up exactly where he left off. <laughs> and even in uh, the playoff playing tournament that happened, uh, the Hornets won against the Washington Wizards, and Young Lamelo he just showed flashes of what he's really capable of. Uh, you know, even on a bigger stage. You know, the, the mini playoffs or whatever you want to call it is easily still a bigger stage than the regular season. Um, you know, and he proved that he's, uh, you know, what he's capable of on that stage as well. He dropped 19 points while getting seven rebounds and five assists. You know, although the Hornets did get eliminated there, you know, I mean, LaMelo, he's, you know, it's like the kid definitely has confidence and the potential to be a superstar going forward. Uh, as early as it may be for me to say that, but, you know, with, that just what I see with his all-around game potential and, you know, everything that he brings to the table like that. Uh, the evolution of basketball is happening right before our eyes, and he is most certainly part of that. Um, congrats to LaMelo on winning Rookie of the Year, and congrats to Charlotte Hornets on making the right decision in the draft. Um, but, yeah, that was the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Follow the page. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a thumbs up there. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll be back with another breaking uh, sports news video. See you guys next time. Peace.